Welcome back. The countdown to Mother's Day is just one week away, and this morning we are joined by um, Lynn Marvash from the Phelps Hathaway House and Garden. Thank you so much for being here this morning. So nice to see you, I Stephanie. appreciate it. Um, so this is so fun. This is how you can kind of treat mom to a nice day. A nice tea. What mother doesn't love a high tea, right? Absolutely. So fun. So, um, so what can people expect if they come out next Sunday? Well, both at Nathan Hale House and at Phelps Hathaway House, we're serving tea for mothers and their special friends, men included. Children also are welcome to come. And uh, at both sites, you'll be able to see the gardens and tour the houses. Um, at Phelps Hathaway, we'll bring you through the herb garden Ooh. and show them what kind of herbs may have been used for herbal teas. And after the tour, we'll all sit down for a formal tea. Beautiful. Um, and talk about the beautiful gardens that you have at the Hathaway House. Right. We have a, a very lovely formal bed garden that's been managed by the Suffield Garden Club since the 60s. And uh, things are just starting to blossom. The lilacs are especially lovely. Mm, they're so fragrant. And yeah, with the cool weather, they better. should hang in there nicely. Yes, yes, let's hope so, for sure. Right. Um, why is it so important, do you think, to come out and enjoy these historic landmarks here in Connecticut? I think so many people appreciate them, but don't necessarily take advantage of them. It's so true. We're so busy in our lives, but Connecticut Landmarks is, is a wonderful heritage museum organization with nine properties. Every weekend there's something different going on at a different house in a different century. Uh, we're way up in the north but we have properties in New London and Hartford and uh, usually we have costumed guides that take you through the houses and show you what life was like back then. And I take it you're a costume guide? I, I do. <laughs> we, have, we have a great staff at Phelps Hathaway. Um, that wear different costumes of the period. Uh, what do you think is the biggest takeaway when people come to the Phelps Hathaway House? I mean, what do you think people really are, you know, what they, they really get out of it? Oh, uh, we have exquisite wallpaper in the house, original from 1794. Wow. And um, just general seeing what life is like, what people worried about then is very similar than today. So yeah. neat. Um, yeah, it's fashion trends kind of, they're circular. Oh, so can, yes. yes. Absolutely. Um, so, yeah, so how can people come out and uh, register for the tea? Right. We accept reservations. Um, we could take some walk ins, but it's great for us to be able to plan how many scones to bring. <laughs> um, but uh, reservations are at ctlandmarks.org or by calling our house, all the information is online at ctlandmarks.org. That's wonderful. The scones look delicious. What kind Thank are you. they? These are current with lavender from our garden. Oh, wow. From your garden? From our garden at the oh, house. How neat. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, thank yeah. you so much. Oh, it's Lynn. nice seeing you, I appreciate Stephanie. it. And happy Mother's Day to you. Oh, thank you. Not quite yet. We still got about nine weeks but to still, go. You're still a mother to be. <laughs> That's right. Right. I'll tell my husband that. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I'll get some flowers out of the deal then. Thanks. Right. Thank For you. more information about it, just head to our website, wtnage.com, click on the honor tab, and pull it down to the Good Morning Connecticut Weekend section.